I really do. Do you want to say Angela, um, Angela is the Judy Dench of, um, of psychic stuff. Angela Teresa Ejic. Hi, I'm Anthony Azizi, and Angela Egypt has been my psychic for many years. She has brought me lots of thoughtful and important and relevant information. Very well, and I discovered some stuff that I wasn't unaware of before, and brought some stuff to light. So overall, it's very. I've good. had these gifts since I was very young. People, many of my clients, in fact, especially my clients, seem to come back to me and thank me. No, Angela is totally, totally on with her readings, right? It was I'm pretty amazing. Oh. Many people are born healers, more so than just psychic mediums. Now, psychics can be healers, and sometimes our words heal Perfect. others. So if you grew up doing music or entertainment of any sort, dancing, sports, acting, you were told practice makes perfect. Well, the same thing happens with intuitive or psychic gifts. Well, I thought your psychic readings were very accurate. Cool. And it, uh, it made me feel at peace. Yes, I've had several readings with Angela. Angela is able to sort of intuitively tap into what's going around, around your situation. and relevant information that has helped me get through a lot of uh, difficult times. Um, kind of says things before you tell her, like the information stuff that, you know, you already know, detailed information. Uh, especially the part about my, my mom. And, uh, let's... Tell the people about your mom. Is she uh, living or passed on? No, mom is passed on. Okay. And, uh, Angela was able to, to see her and get communicated from her. I tell you how to distinguish between your own thoughts and those that might be coming from a spirit guide, or a spirit, or a ghost for that matter, if you are a person who is clairaudient. If you're clairvoyant, you may see things. You may not see them like they're standing right in front of you, or if you saw the movie Sixth Sense. She also told me that uh, December 21st, 2012 is a bunch of crap. Led me to explore some things I was unaware of and come to some realizations that I probably wouldn't have otherwise. But when you know them, it's known. It's yeah, no longer so frightening. From what she mentioned, and some stuff had to do with the past, the present, and pretty accurate. And I'm not sure about the future. Well, you as know, as well. I'm skeptical, and I'm not assuming that you're not. Um, but yeah, you were pretty amazing. You were pretty perceptive about some stuff on a physical level, and you said some interesting stuff. Like I wonder about my past with my family, stuff with my family, and you picked up on. Some really interesting things, although how much I'll look into them, I don't know. But Quite good on at um, talking to your your dead loved one. Very, very talented and excellent at what she does. Very much like a muscle. The more you use them, the better they get. Definitely about Angela. That, um, you know, she's very compassionate and sincere. She will um, be able to pick up on your deceased. You know, grandparents or parents, um, people you want to speak Absolutely. to. Absolutely, I would recommend it. There's a lot of stuff to explore and a lot of stuff to learn. We were talking to ghosts. We were talking to people who had passed on. We were talking to spirits and spirit guides. And then somebody scared us out of it by saying we shouldn't be doing that or that we're pretending. Something so we believe she will give you like images and names and, you know, the size that she sees. I had what I call a book in my head. And when I close my eyes, I can see the cover of this very old, ancient book, very thick. And I turn that key, and I can open this book to any page and answer any question. She's not the type of person to give a reading just for money. I really felt very encouraged after her readings, I guess, because, um, you know, even if she sees something that maybe you don't like, I think, you know, she knows enough to sort of give you um, a way to, like, work with it, instead of just, you know, just saying, she's, um... You know, I would say that her style in that way is, is compassionate. How to give a reading oh, that's fair. How to warn a client uh, about upcoming damage. She <laughs> told, I was fascinated by how she could uh, see and communicate with, with the, the dead, the deceased, the past her as someone that is, um, you know, trustworthy. She's not going to lie to you. And she is going to tell you genuinely what she sees. Many children being born today are psychic or have gifts. I remember 
Noticing them as early yeah, as that's six years. Very important in a reader that they're not just trying to tell me what they. Um, the law of attraction goes hand in hand with psychic gifts, with medium She's gifts. Not only it wonderful always what she does, but she also does it with a lot of care and concern, and she really just wants to help. One thing you need to know about the chakras: generally, there's seven. There's actually more now. She's very compassionate about it, and. I found her to, um, at times, be very accurate. Do you speak to angels? Do you believe in angels? But there are many things. I give you warnings of what will happen as you're learning more and more as you open up to your psychic gifts so that you're yeah, prepared. Yeah, I won't go into detail, but I did discover something that nobody else would have known, and it helped, helped me um, be at peace. Well, the mind is a very powerful muscle. It will start opening up. You will start hearing things, seeing things, feeling things. It can be a person to like actually want to really help people. I, I felt calm. I, you know, it was, it was a pretty emotional experience, but I, uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, I, I, I slept good that night, I think. I'm pretty sure. Like very subtle shifts. Other times, you know, it would come maybe a week later and stuff. And The difference between a spirit and a ghost. Do you know the difference? And you know, it's okay not to know the difference. Angela Teresa Egypt. I look forward to talking to you and seeing you at my business. She says it, and it's come true, because I can remember from like her meetings from five years ago with me, but she said it stuck in my head, and it's definitely... She answered every one of my questions uh, thoroughly, uh, with honesty and, and compassion. What on YouTube? Since I met Angela, first day, first moment I met Angela, Street um, lobby, and Angela said, "You're either a Leo or a Virgo." And I said, "I'm on the cusp, Leo and Virgo." Funny you say that. Why do you say that? And she goes, "Well, you're just sitting here, but you want all the attention." And I was sitting there reading, but I, I, I did. I wanted all the attention. It's pretty perceptive. It's you know, some people have these particular particular senses. I think I have it to a certain degree, but it takes. It takes a certain bravery to use it out in the world. You can find a way who's ever lived and has passed on. Mm -hmm. So you can talk to the Ascended Masters, of course, but you can talk to, if you're in music, you can talk to Beethoven. Realizations and definitely uplifting and positive. I love her and she's helped me a lot. Thanks, Ange.